we were able just to take a look at our rough profile that is consistent throughout the golf course. And this area right in here, it honestly kind of gets me a little bit excited talking about it because uh, it just holds a lot of agronomic value. If you look back to 1999, uh, that was at the point when they put an extensive drainage in all of the fairways in 1999. And if you're, you know, in the summertime when we get our first uh, onset of heat, we can see all of the fairway drainage that they incorporated throughout in it, and it's extensive. There is a ton of fairway drainage out here. And back in 1999, what's really neat to see is this profile right in here, if you could bring it in, Kian. In 99, we were still dealing with all clay uh, back in 1999. And you can see once again that that material, it's impossible. And that's, that's why in the winter time, it was pretty much a mud pit out here. Uh, beginning in 1999 is when they, uh, they, they began with uh, an extensive top dressing program meaning they would run a big lily out here and we would top dress uh, three to four times a year. And that's what this excellent profile represents in here, is essentially 20 years of top dressing to create a good growing medium. And this is really critical in our construction process now as far as being able to maintain this. Uh, number one fairway is a great example where we're going to be making cuts in the area of 8 to 10 feet. And at the beginning of the project, I was very concerned about being able to maintain this material, the good top dressing material, and not contaminating the clay into it. Uh, we're going to shoot another video down in a, in a minute that shows you the process we're using to remove this material, and I'm, I'm really pleased with the process. And without getting into too much technical info, we're looking at removing this process on the entire front nine. Anywhere that the turf is dead, we will be stripping this four inches of good top dressing material. We're gonna be stockpiling it off to the side. And really to improve things, we're gonna be incorporating another two, two to three inches of uh, wash sand to drastically improve our fairway profile and really that's accomplished by uh, rototilling which we're going to look at we strip it to the side we incorporate two to three inches and that material is off to the side while we're making major grade changes once we make major grade changes we then are able to bring this good material with the two to three inches of new sand that we're incorporating back onto the profile or back onto the grade to really provide an excellent growing medium. And it's just, uh, I think from an education standpoint, it's great to see that it's taken 20 years in order for us to build that profile up. And the last thing we wanted to do in this project was put something back that was less superior than what we started with. So we're feeling really good about amending our fairway mix and uh, what we're doing to really improve on what's taken 20 years. And I think kind of in this last shot, it, it really shows a good example, if you could move in key in that, really it's taken us 20 years, like I said, to, to build a, a suitable growing profile of roughly four inches. Um, so we're very excited and I think in the next video we're going to show you that process we're doing right now to be able to remove that topsoil without contaminating uh, the clay.